Based on what's happening around the globe, the escalating tensions between nations, exemplified by conflicts such as Russia and Ukraine, Israel and Palestine, and India and China, it's hard to deny that World War III is just around the corner. In such a scenario, there are certain highly neutral countries that stand out, presenting the possibility of being spared if World War III erupts. If you are curious to know more, and if you want to know if your country is included in the list, make sure to watch the whole video. Here now are the 10 safest countries to live in, if World War III happens. At number 1, Antarctica. While not a country, Antarctica, the vast southernmost continent, earns a place on this list due to its extreme isolation. Renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and icy terrains, this continent remains unlikely to witness the footfall of many, given its position as the most southerly point on the planet. At number 2, Fiji. Nestled in the expansive Pacific Ocean, Fiji stands as an isolated island nation characterized by a modest population and a commitment to a tranquil foreign policy. Its verdant forests, rich mineral resources, and abundant fishing grounds render Fiji an attractive sanctuary amid global uncertainties, providing a peaceful haven far removed from potential threats. At number 3, Iceland, this place has been consistently topping the list of the Global Peace Index. Which makes Iceland is a secluded haven. Dotted with abundant fresh water reserves, marine resources, and renewable energy sources, Iceland achieves self-sufficiency, mitigating worries about reliance on other countries for essential resources. At number 4, Greenland. While Denmark, part of the European Union and NATO, may face the brunt of any war outbreak in Europe, Greenland, an autonomous constituent country, remains strategically distant and politically non-aligned. Its remote, mountainous terrain makes it an advantageous location for survival in the event of an attack. At number 5, New Zealand. With its stable democracy and a history free from war conflicts, stands as another hidden away and developed nation. With fertile soil, clean water, and a capability to produce its own food, New Zealand's mountainous terrains offer natural shelters in the face of potential invasion. At number 6, Bhutan. Surrounded by the Himalayas. Bhutan's unique location provides excellent shelter, tucked away and concealed from potential threats. With a commitment to foreign independence and a careful avoidance of diplomatic entanglements, Bhutan remains an illogical target for invasion. At number 7, Ireland. Despite its proximity to potential conflict in England, Ireland maintains a totally independent foreign policy and refrains from NATO membership. Its military neutrality and the requirement for government approval and UN authorization for foreign conflicts make Ireland a neutral entity. At number 8, Switzerland, renowned for its political neutrality, features mountainous terrain, a landlocked geography, and numerous nuclear shelters. Even if nukes were to land there, the Swiss populace is well protected with bunkers and surrounded by mountains, creating a formidable defense against neighboring war-torn countries. At number 9, Indonesia. Indonesia's inclusion on this list stems from its traditionally neutral position on global political matters, embodied by a free and active foreign policy. The country focuses on independent action in international affairs and is committed to fostering global peace. And at number 10 is Tuvalu, lying within the vast expanses of the Pacific Ocean. Tuvalu is an extremely secluded and politically non-aligned nation. Its small population and negligible resources provide no incentive for major countries involved in a world war to target it. Uniquely self-sufficient, Tuvalu's people produce their own food and necessities, ensuring their independence and likely isolation in a war scenario. Thank you for watching.